Hey, y'all, and welcome to the Hello Well with Danielle podcast, your weekly mental vacation from the grind for busy women who just need a moment to pause, relax, and woosa. I am your host, Danielle Washington, and I hella love feeling like I'm on this chaotic roller coaster or carousel in life that is spinning out of control and I have no way of getting off. Said absolutely no one. There was a time in my life that I felt like I was permanently living on this carousel. Like I felt like everything was crazy, overwhelming, and at times downright chaotic. I carried the weight of responsibilities, expectations, even those that weren't even mine, feeling like I was obligated to be the strong and responsible one. And like, let's be clear, that ish was hella exhausting as I didn't really see a way out. And it wasn't like I could tell people, F you, I'm taking a strike. Like I couldn't, like, there's no union. Like I wish there was a busy woman's union. Do you know what we could do if we had a union and we can come together and be like, nope, we've said it. Unless we get these certain demands, we're on strike. But until that happens, there's no union. But again, I kind of wish there was. But amidst all these moments of feeling like life was chaotic and I was on this roller coaster, I had this moment of, duh. Duh. Like, how did I not know this existed? And like, I kind of was embarrassed. I was like, mm, I'm not going to tell people I just figured that out. And then I started realizing I'm not alone. I wasn't the only one that took years to realize that with us is this amazing tool that's been with us our entire life. And it's our breath. Like your breath is like this energetic mace that's protecting you from everything. It protects your mood, your sanity, And let's keep it 100. It's also keeping you alive. Our breath is like that lifeline. We didn't know that we need it, but it's always kind of with us. And we just don't pay attention to its true potential. We aren't maximizing its true potential. So why do I keep ranting about how important it is to focus on breathing and why it's important to actually incorporate breathing into your wellness? Like J-Lo said, it don't cost a thing. There's no barriers. And it's with us every second of the day. You don't need to pack it with you. It, like You don't need to have any training behind it. It's with us. And once you're able to kind of get to the point where it's constantly in your brain, they're like, oh yeah, mm, this is time for a breather versus me flipping out on someone. It becomes a game changer in your wellness. Like seriously, it's like a no brainer, but like we're not using it. And that's why I'm so passionate about as understanding why the breath is important, the benefits behind doing it, because it is a no brainer. Like, yo, when I started using my breath and using breathing techniques in moments of stress and chaotic, and when I was like feeling like, so like, I can't get off this carousel, that's really stressing me the AF out. It was when I was like, oh, I can get into matrix modes. I'm like, oh, not today, Satan. You're not getting me because I would breathe through it. There's moments when I know I'm a caregiver for my parents and my dad will act a fool at 80 something years old. And when he has those moments, instead of it triggering me to like yell back at him and, and match his energy, or I'm sure we've all done this at work and wanted to pop off on someone. When I use the breathing techniques and I have various different techniques that I use for different situations, I'm able to stay in my right mind. I'm able not to have those, oh, I popped off and "Mm, my bad. I didn't mean to say it that way. Or I'm able to also filter what I'm thinking. Because when I don't filter what I'm thinking, you just never know what's going to come out. And it's going to be, I said (laughs) what I said. And I don't always want to have those moments like I said what I said or have to apologize later. And that's why I'm so passionate about women taking breathers or what I call mental vacations throughout your day because it makes a difference. The benefits are endless, especially for busy women when practicing breath work and like in terms of our emotional security, especially in relationships, like I was talking earlier, it allows us to have a moment to, okay, pause, breathe. We're going to stop before we respond. So we don't go zero to 100. We're able to filter ourselves better and we're able to have better sense of communication and connecting with people. 
I think that's super, super important, but it also helps stress management. It helps you sleep. It helps you with mental clarity, helps you with emotional regulation. There's physical aspects of it all, helps with time efficient self-care and something quick and easy. You could do it anytime. And again, it's free. So there's so, so many benefits behind it, but why aren't we using it? Because we don't think about it. When we're stressed out, when we're frustrated when we're angry, we're having moments of, we're feeling exhausted because you have, you know, something's pulling you one way, something's pulling you another way. You're not thinking about your breath. Like you're usually, you're just like, I just need to get through whatever I'm going through. And oftentimes in those moments, you're holding your breath. You don't even realize you're like, you're here. And so you're not giving yourself the capacity. I mean, scientific proof, there are receipts that using your breath and being able to expand your breath, to breathe deeply can shift your mood. It can shift your mindset. It can calm your nervous system down. But when we're in those moments of feeling like we're on that roller coaster that's going fast and we don't know how to get off, we don't remember these moments. And so that's why I feel it's so important to make sure I let people no, I feel like I'm like this salesperson, like those late night shows. I'm like, you too for $9.95, but there is no cost to this. I just want you to know that this exists. I want to empower you and have the ownership to know that at any time, in any situation, you have this tool right at your hands or literally right in your lungs. Being able to incorporate breathing exercises into like my day-to-day practice and just my self-care practice has just been so impactful. It's helped me feel more grounded. It's helped me feel like I can stay grounded in my truth. It's helped me communicate better. It's helped my relationships and it's helped my overall happiness. And I think we all kind of need that. Again, going back to what I was saying earlier, no one's saying, I hella love feeling chaotic. I hella love feeling like my life feels out of control. I think we want control, but we don't always know how to get it, especially in those moments. And I feel like these breathing techniques that I'm, I, I want to share with you guys and I want you to learn about are really helpful in being able to add these into your day-to-day practice. That being said, let's take a moment to actually experience the beauty and magic of breath work. If you can, I invite you to get into a comfortable position, whether that's sitting, standing, if you can close your eyes, close your eyes, whatever feels right for you at this moment. But I invite you to take a deep breath through your nose, feeling your chest expand, your belly expand, holding it for a moment, and then exhaling slowly through your nose, releasing the tension and stress out of your body. Again, inhaling slowly, holding for a few seconds, and then exhaling all of it out. Let's do this two more times. Inhale deeply, hold. Exhaling, letting go of all the tension. And once more, inhale, hold, and exhale. It's as simple as that. An inhale, an exhale. It could be an inhale, hold, exhale. It could be inhale, exhale. And there's so many different varieties and ways to go about doing this, but just inhaling deeply, through your nose, exhaling deeply through your nose and doing this two or three times, doing it one time can make a difference. It can shift your perspective in such a beautiful and magical way. And that's part of the practice to do this throughout our day, to have these mental vacations. You could take this as a moment to close your eyes, deep breaths, and then imagine you're somewhere. Imagine for me, it's like, I'm imagining I'm on this beautiful beach. Life is grand. There's no one there. It can be imagining you're at a cafe in Paris and you're watching people walk by, whatever it is for you. You can create these mental vacations that help you calm your nervous system, that help you shift your mood, that help you get that mental clarity, that help you sleep better and help you get the control of your life. 
and get it to stop spinning so far out of control or getting things to slow down, whether it's 30 seconds, whether it's the minutes, whether it's two minutes, it matters. It all kind of comes together to make a bigger impact. And that's, again, why I feel so passionate about it. And that's why it's like, even in the month of August, we're at the end of July, we're in Venus retrograde and craziness is going on as it is. People talking about Pluto and all these other things. I'm not really into astrology. I mean, I'm into astrology, but not enough to be like, oh, this, this, and this is happening. But all I can say is the energy is a little bit crazy and I don't think it's going to get any better in time soon. And so again, August is about to, is around the corner for many people who have kids, you know, you're getting ready for back to school. You're trying to, you know, get those last minute vacations in and we're kind of getting, you know, to an end of summer living. I don't know, in California, summer living never seems like it starts in Northern California because I'm like, it's always so cold. But that being said, that's why I wanted to do this challenge I'm putting together that's called the August Breather. And it's a mini mental vacation for busy women. And literally all it is, is us coming together to breathe, to take a moment, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, whatever it is. And doing a moment just to breathe, just to pause, just to woosah. Like Martin had it right in Bad Boys. Woosah. Like I thought it was funny when it was doing, but now like nowadays I'm like, oh, he had it right. We all need a moment to woo saw. He was trying to tell us years ago and we weren't listening. I'm listening now and I want you to listen too. So I'm hoping you will join me. And it's super easy. Like, listen, I get it. I get you're busy. I get you got a life. I'm not like, oh, please sign up and do all these different things. And there's all these checks, bells and barriers. No. Just follow me on Instagram, go to, and you don't even got to follow my Instagram, go to my Instagram, hit my stories starting August 1st to the end of August. So from the first 31st, every day, I'm going to post something about breathing and you can just follow along with whatever I'm talking about to take no more than 60 seconds or longer if you choose to do longer, but it's a story. So it's going to be like 60 seconds just to pause and breathe to take a breather for you, take a breather from the, from the chaos, from the obligations, from the responsibilities, just to pause, push pause on life and breathe. Aren't you worthy of it? And more importantly, if you want to think about what you do for other people, think and imagine how much better you'll show up for yourself and others when you have this moment to pause, when you're able to reset, when you're able to release, when you're able to relax just for a moment, just for a couple of minutes, just for a couple of seconds, you're able to just take a breather. I hope you'll join me. I hope you will share this with a girlfriend or a family member who, you know, I think she needs a breather too. Like, I want this to be a moment where if you want, you can DM me. I'm going to, every day, I'm going to give you tips about breathing. I'm going to give you different breathing exercises. because There's so many different types of breathing exercises you can do. And I'm here to support you. This is not just, I'm throwing good luck, sis, I'm out. Use me as, you know, a resource. Like, can I help you in any way? Send me a message saying, hey, I did my breathing today. There's a beauty about doing some of the stuff in a community versus when oftentimes when we're healing on our own, our, on our own, we don't feel seen. We don't, we don't feel like, oh, wait, someone else can be here to celebrate with me. So I want to invite you to do that. I'll also be doing some guided meditations throughout the month. And so if you want to get those, make sure you'll hear about it through Instagram stories. But again, literally, I just want people to take a moment and pause. That's it. That's my goal. My goal behind this is to recognize that there is an amazing, magical moments that are waiting for you when you pause, when you take that breather. Taking mindful pauses is a gentle reminder to be present and nurture our well-being in the midst of all the responsibilities I know you got in your life because I'm right there with you. If you can't tell, I'm really passionate about this. And so 
I just want you to join. And I'm going to stop there. So it starts August 1st. My Instagram, if you're not familiar with it, same name as this, Hello Well with Danielle. And I look forward to seeing you then. Other than that, know that you're worthy of the pause. You're worthy of the breather. Not because you did anything, not because of who you are. It's just because you breathe and you exist. I'll see you later. Ciao.